Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create a notebook with KDP template that you can sell on KDP Amazon later. So in order to create KDP notebook on Canva, you're going to have to create a custom design. You can't use the templates that Canva already have. So you're going to have to click on create a design and then click custom design. As for the width and the height, you can download the template from KDP and I'm going to show you how in the minute. Now to measure the width and the height of your cover, you can either go to EDP or you can also just Google EDP cover calculator. And here you're going to have to fill in the details of your book, such as the binding type. And for my binding type, I'm going to use paperback. If you use hardcover, you can feel free to choose that. And then I'm going to click on the interior type. Here I'm using black and white. And then the paper type that I'm using is white paper. As for the page turn, direction is going to be left to right. And the measurement units I'm going to be using is going to be in inches. And here is the sizes that you can choose for your book. Whichever size you choose, feel free to do so. And even if you don't see the measurement of your book over here, you can scroll down and you will see the custom trim size. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use the 6 by 9 inch book. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then as for the page count, I'm going to have 100 page for my notebook. After that, I'm going to go ahead and click Calculate Dimension. As you can see, it gives us the template as well as the descriptions. The full cover, front cover, safe area, the bleed area, etc. You can see the exact measurement on this descriptions table on top of your book cover template. So once you've got it, you can just go ahead and download the template and then you can use it as a guidance on Canva later. And we're going to see how the templates look like after we download it. So here it is. The template comes with several instruction. It also has some color coded elements that are going to help it easier for us to differentiate which is which. Don't forget to extract your document so that you can upload it to Canva later. Now that we've got the template, as for the width and the height, you can see on the descriptions above it that the full cover will have the width of 12.475 and the height of our cover are going to be 9.25 instead of just the direct 6 by 9 inch book. So the formula for the width project is actually just the cover width plus the bleeding area which is 0.125 so i'm going to go ahead and calculate that and the number that i got is in 12.54 and as for the height we're going to input 9.25 all right so here is our canvas for today and what we're going to do now is we're going to upload the templates that we have downloaded before and we're going to go ahead and click upload and then click upload file and then we're going to choose the templates that we've got from KDP Amazon. Once you've inserted your template, you can go ahead and put your template into your design canvas. And then adjust your template so that it's going to fit into the design canvas. Now, as you can see, just like what I said before, these template came with different element. As you can see, it has some red stripe, it has some black dots, it has some title guide, etc. If you're confused about what those elements are supposed to be for, I'm going to explain to you the most important one, which is these red or orange stripe over here. So these are the bleeding area. Make sure that your pictures or whatever background you're going to put for your cover is going to cover those red areas so that when it's being printed out, you won't have any white edges or make sure that any text you want to put into your cover does not overlapped into the red zone area so that it will not be cut when it was printed. All right, so the theme of the notebook that I'd like to create for today is night sky or moon. 
anything that related to that because I've been obsessed with moon currently so I'm going to go ahead and click on the element section and then I'm going to search for night sky and this is the picture that I'm going to use as my cover background I'm going to go ahead and rotate it so that the part that has a lot of stars are going to be below or it's going to be on the bottom side of my page and then I'm going to adjust this picture so that it's going to fit better into my cover page after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the opacity of my background picture so that I can still see the templates behind it. I would like to still see the bleeding point as well as the spine area so that I know where to put my text if I ever want to put one or if I want to insert some decorative element, I know where to put them. Next, I would like to add some frame for my cover background. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the element sections again, and I'm going to try to find a frame that has moon elements on it. And this is the frame. Well, it's not actually a frame, it's just a stripe, but I'm going to turn it into a frame. It has a gradient color. I don't really like it. I'm just going to make the whole notebook black and white I want them to be in monotone theme so I'm going to go ahead and change the colors from gradient into just pure white and then I'm going to adjust it so that it's going to have a similar width to the bleeding area and then I'm just going to duplicate it and turn this into a long strip after I duplicate the strip across the cover page I'm going to group all of them and then I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to place another frame strip on the bottom side of my cover page as well on the spine area. All right, now that I've already put my strip or my frame across the cover, I'm going to see how it looks like on the actual background. So I'm going to increase the opacity of my background so that I got the idea of how the whole cover will look like. And now I don't think I'm going to use the template anymore, so I'm going to send my background to the back and then I'm going to delete the template that we got from the KDP earlier. Before you decide you won't use the template anymore, just make sure you remember where the safe zone is, where the bleeding area is, and where the barcode are going to be printed on your cover. So make sure you memorize that before you delete um, the template. And now I just want to add some wording to it, but to separate the wording from my background, I'm going to go ahead and try to find some texture because I feel like just some plain element is going to be boring. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find some texture that I can use to separate my wording with my background. So I ended up choosing this particular element as my divider, and then I'm going to add a wording which is just my notebook you can add whatever you want for the title of your notebook and then i'm just changing the font of it as well as the positions and then for the last touch i'm going to add a moon element at the back of my cover so i'm going to go ahead and try to find something that catches my eyes and i ended up adding this girl on the moon element because I feel like it's cute and that is my cover page. If you want to save it, don't forget to change the uh, file type into PDF print and make sure that the resolution that you download is good enough and it won't get blurred out when you print it. Next, we're going to create the inside of our notebook. Now, the width and the length of the inside of our notebook is totally going to be different with the cover one. So instead, inserting 12.54 for the width, we're going to input 6 inches instead. But you have to add the 6 inches with the bleeding area, which is 125. And as for the height, we don't have to change it. We can go straight with 9.25. And here is how the inside template should look like. Now to create the lines that notebooks usually have, you can go ahead and go to the elements area and then type out lines. And then you can just go ahead and 
duplicate the line as much as you like and arrange it as however you see it fit. Now here's a trick when you're duplicating something on repetitive action. Instead of duplicating it one by one, you can just control shift and click on the elements you want to duplicate and then you can duplicate two or three, even four or even more at one time instead of having to duplicate one thing over and over again. But if you feel like doing it manually is a hassle for you and if it feels like it's too much work, you can just go ahead and click on the design area and then search out notes. Over there, you're going to find a lot of notes templates that you can customize. For example, I'm choosing this ones right here because right off the bat, it's sort of match pretty well with the cover that I designed. My cover consists of moon and star element and these notes over here also have some stars element to it and to make it different i would just add some moon elements in the middle of it so i'm going to go ahead and search out for moon and then i'm going to reduce the opacity and bring that elements to the back so that it will not disturb the existing line I'm also changing the existing wording, which is just notes, and I'm going to change it to good day instead. Now that I'm done designing my page, before I'm saving it, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this page. And you can do that by clicking on this duplicate sign over here, but it's going to take a long time if you just duplicate one page at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the grid view sections, and then I'm going to Click on multiple pages at once and duplicate it from there. As you can see, it makes everything faster. And the, the cover book template that I downloaded is for a notebook with 100 pages on it. So in this section, I'm going to duplicate my pages until 98 because the other two pages is for my cover. You can keep track on the amount of pages that you've already duplicated. You can see on the bottom of your screen, there is a page slash numbers and the numbers are the amount of pages you have already duplicated. So I already duplicate 96 pages and I just have to add two more so that I get 98 pages. And once it's done, we can just download this design by clicking on share, scrolling down, and then you will find the download button. Just make sure to change the file types into PDF print instead. And that is how you can create a notebook that are totally sellable on KDP Amazon. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.